Good evening, brothers and sisters, saints, wherever you are. It's a Friday evening, and we want to start our Vespers in Nyali SDA Church. This is Nyali SDA Church live stream. And on that note, can we have a word of prayer? Then I invite the choristers to lead us in the song. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you this evening for the opportunity you've given us to meet. We are not seeing the, the your, your, your saints physically, but wherever they are in their homes, we pray that you touch them, that you keep them focused on these programs, that we can fellowship together, that as, even if we are away from each other at this moment, we pray that you, you bring us together through this live stream service, that we can be able to worship you and open up your Sabbath. Be with us, for we have us trusting and believing in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So at this moment, I invite the choristers to lead us in a song before pastor comes to open up the Vespers. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are going to start with song number 88. I sing the mighty power of God. Let's sing together. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day the moon shines full at his command and all the stars obey i sing the goodness of the lord that filled the earth with food he formed the creatures with his run and then pronounce them good. Lord, how I wonder thy display, where I turn my eye, if I survey the ground I tread, or gaze upon the sky. There's not a plant or flower below, but make the glories known. And clouds arise and tempests blow by order from thy throne. Creatures that borrow life from thee are subject to thy care. There's no a place where we can flee, but God is present there. Amen. Amen. Our second song is song number 384. We are going to sing this song. The Lord has led us through another week, and we Amen. have all the reason to thank him. So we are going to sing this song and then invite our pastor to give us the opening remarks. Amen. Safely through another week. Let's sing together. Safely through another week. God has brought us on our way. Let us now a blessing seek. Waiting in his courts today. Day of all the week, the best emblem of the final rest. Day of all the week, the best emblem of eternal rest. While we seek supplies of grace through the dear Redeemer's name. Should I be consoling face, take away our sin and shame from a 
one we can set free. May we rest this day in thee. From our world we can set free. May we rest this day in thee. When the morn shall be us rise, may we feel thy presence near. May thy glory meet our eyes when we in thy house appear. He afford us God a taste of our everlasting feast. Hear our Lord a lot of taste of our everlasting feast. May the gospel joyful sound conquer sin as comfort says. Make the fruits of grace abound, brightly live to all complaints. Thus may all our Sabbaths be, till we rise to reign with thee. Thus may all our Sabbaths be, till we rise to reign with thee. Amen. Amen. We are going to invite Elder Omwange Amen. to come and welcome the pastor. Thank you. Good evening. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Uh, I want to welcome you to this uh, uh, program. We want to welcome our Sabbath. Uh, as you know, in our practice of the Seventh Day Advents, we have finished our day and we are ushering in a new day. Our day starts at uh, 6 in the evening. And therefore, we are ready in a new day. That's why we are ushering in the Sabbath. I want to welcome you all, wherever you are, to this live program, which is being streamed from Nyari SDA. Wherever you are, we are requesting you to create time so that you can worship together with us, uh, the members of the Seventh Day Adventists, wherever you are, whether you are at home, whether you are at the place of work, kindly we want to request you to create time so that we can uh, uh, usher in the Sabbath together. Our speaker this evening is our uh, pastor, uh, the pastor of this church, of this uh, 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 district. And uh, for those who don't know him, his name is uh, Pastor Maxwell Mwashigadi, he's our pastor, and he's the one who is going to speak to us this evening. I request him to come and uh, take us through this program. Pastor, welcome, and uh, speak to the people of God. Karibu san. Good evening. Uh, happy Sabbath. I invite you to this uh, uh, live broadcast Vespers from uh, Nyali SDA Church. We thank God that he has enabled us to put up uh, uh, this program. We have uh, been away for, for two Sabbaths. And, uh, we thank God for the wisdom that uh, he has uh, given us. And uh, we are starting this Vespas uh, live broadcast, and uh, we promise that uh, God to help us so that tomorrow also we'll have our live broadcast from morning to evening. So prepare yourself for a live church, for a li an online live church uh, this Sabbath from morning to evening, and uh, we wish that the Holy Spirit will guide us and uh, everything that has been uh, goes as planned. And uh, we thank God that uh, uh, 
let all of us try as much as possible to maintain all the rules and regulations that have been laid upon by the government at this particular point for us to, to follow each and every uh, direction that you have been given so that we can protect our lives and those for our loved ones. And uh, as we maintain uh, that physical distance, we can still have our social fellowship. Uh, the term is uh, not social distance, but uh, physical distance. But uh, our social life, uh, our social fellowship, our relationship, we should grow them now more than ever. Because as everyone is for himself in their homes, let us all try and maintain our fellowship. Uh, try as much as possible to communicate to that uh, friend, that member uh, that we worship together with. No, we are doing. And uh, let us be our brother's keeper. Let us not be like uh, Cain, who said that he is not uh, his brother's keeper. But all of us, let us be our brother's keeper. Maintain that fellowship, the Nyali fellowship. Uh, now that we are not meeting at church, we are in our homes. Make sure that you know. Uh, your member how they are doing so that uh, we can maintain that fellowship. I invite you to our, uh, today's presentation that we take it from uh, the book of um, Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 and uh, before we read the verse uh, there was a crisis there was a crisis uh, in the first century. All the disciples have died most of the followers uh, most of the followers who saw the first true witnesses who saw Jesus face to face, most of them they have died. And uh, uh, the message that the disciples have been preaching for all that time, more than 70 years after Jesus uh, had gone to heaven, was that Jesus is coming soon. And all of them prepared for that second coming of Jesus Christ. But as they were waiting, uh, using all the resources that they had, knowing that Jesus will come soon, something happened. They started dying. They started dying one after the other. The first one, uh, the first true witness who saw Jesus uh, and died after, after Jesus had ascended to heaven was uh, Mary Magdalene. And uh, all of them, they were shocked that, uh, uh, and uh, they grieved uh, that she has gone before Jesus could come again. But this was their hope. Each and every one of them, they hoped that Jesus will come again during their time. And that is the message that they were preaching, that soon Jesus is coming. So when all the disciples had died, most of the followers who are following Jesus have died. Uh, the only question that uh, was lingering in all the new believers that were coming was how will we console ourselves when our members are dying, when our fellow, uh, our disciples are dying? How will we console ourselves that we have believed in a faith that uh, is structured, in a faith, uh, how will they console one another other than that knowing that Jesus, uh, they have died and he has not come back? Then uh, Jesus had to reappear again. He had to reappear again and give a conclusion of the New Testament. How worship will continue from the time he died, from the time when all the disciples have died, when the time all the witnesses that have seen Jesus have died, how will the worship continue? Jesus had to reappear again. And uh, he reappeared when only one disciple was remaining and was none other than John, uh, the beloved disciple. And uh, he was a true friend of Jesus. If you go through the book of John, the last chapters of the book of John, uh, it's not hidden that this one was a beloved disciple. And uh, just because that he was the youngest among all the disciples, so Jesus kept him close. Uh, he wanted to be accountable for the life of John. And out of his care, for the life of John, he became uh, so close to Jesus, uh, closer uh, to the point uh, of a relationship between John and uh, Jesus was like that relationship between a son and his father. 
and uh, after all the disciples have died, John is very old, uh, Jesus appearing again, that friend appearing again for the second time, but uh, appearing again seated at the mercy seat, uh, that picture of John seeing Jesus again in heaven, uh, it was a spectacle that uh, he couldn't explain, he couldn't even hold his life. He fell down and thought as if he had, uh, he had died. But in the words of Jesus, as he was revealing himself to give an account of how the faith will be, how members will console themselves after the uh, disciples, all of them have gone, he gave him a verse in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 5, uh, chapter 1, verse 5, and he's saying, uh, and from Jesus the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him whom loved and washed us from our sins in his own blood. This is one verse that uh, Jesus is revealing himself as the true witness, one who had died, but he has become the firstborn among the dead, giving them hope that wherever you will be burying any member, any Christian, just know that that one will not be the end. As long as you believe in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, let us know that uh, we have the one whom we believe, Jesus Christ, is the firstborn among all the dead. So the threats that uh, they come in our life in whatever uh, magnitude that they come. Let us know that uh, death is not the end. Death is not the end uh, to our life. As long as you believe in Jesus Christ, we have hope that there is one who defeated it. There is one who defeated it. And uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, rose again and uh, he defeated that, that uh, death. And because of that, there is no reason for us to fear. There is no reason for us uh, uh, to fear whatever threat that is before us. That, but each and every day as we wake up, uh, we thank God because he has allowed us to live again. But uh, as we live, let us know this one, that uh, uh, the world that we are living in, we have hope. We have hope into the one whom we believe in because he has promised uh, in his word that whomsoever believes in him will not perish the death that will experience in this world it's just temporal but uh, there's a life a life that uh, we have not perceived uh, we, are, we can't compare to anything that we can get in this world that Jesus Christ has promised for us it's my sincere hope that the threats that uh, the world is experiencing at this particular point because of the of the coronavirus it will not push us into uh, running uh, uh, away from our call it will not push us into not believing again into the jesus that we believe in because we know that he defeated he defeated death and uh, as long as jesus will delay coming uh, we will all uh, will face will face death but we have hope that Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming again and is coming to, to, to usher in us to the internal uh, life that he has promised each and every one of us. Because he defeated death, also us will defeat that death. Because he defeated death, also us will defeat the sickness that uh, uh, is in front of us. The challenge that is ahead of us will know that uh, we'll be conquerors. Because the one we believe in, he has power. He has power to defeat death and every other sickness. Let us have hope that Jesus Christ is together with us. And he will empower us. He has all the power to keep us safe during this epidemic that uh, is befalling the world. I sincerely hope that uh, this hope will remain in each and every one's soul. And every day that you wake up, let us have a reason to thank God because he has chosen us. He has ordained us to be alive so that we can preach this word of hope to the uh, many people who are per perishing so that they will have uh, this hope and live according to the will of God. May the good Lord bless you.
Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, we glorify you, we honor you because you are good to us, O oh Lord. Uh, you have allowed us to live up to this day. As we enter your Sabbath, may the Holy Spirit guide us. May we experience a spirit of worship in a special way. As we congregate in our homes and listen to your word, may the Holy Spirit guide us and translate your word in a special way. Father God in heaven, we like to bring the whole world into, uh, we pray for the whole world as we experience this epidemic of coronavirus that has cut all many plans, the economy and everything, our financial uh, uh, system uh, is going down, but we continue praying to you so that you can come and uh, uh, rescue the situation. We believe that you are our God and uh, you know everything and each uh, uh, everything that is happening into this world you know and understand you see the world the beginning and the end as uh, one day but uh, we continue praying that uh, you will intervene protect us all and uh, as we go through each and everything in our life we pray that the holy spirit will guide us uh, protect us and keep us safe during this epidemic father god in heaven uh, in a special way, we like to dedicate our online service in your able hands. May you be with us. Uh, link us in a special way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen.